During the battles for Volodar since 2023, the 155th Marine Brigade of the Russian Armed Forces was destroyed twice and restored twice. Before the war, the mining town had 14,000 people. The enemy began trying to attack Volodar in late 2022. Only after two years of fighting, Putin's army is close to its goal, Forbes reports. The 57th Motorized Brigade managed to break through the defenses of the 72nd Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. Now the fighting is taking place on the eastern outskirts of the city and Ukrainian forces may be retreating to the north. Just to break through to the eastern outskirts of Ugledar, the Russian armed forces lost several thousands of their soldiers and a thousand units of military equipment. Fighters from the 72nd Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces used mines, drones, artillery and anti-tank missiles against the enemy. As a result, at least one enemy brigade was destroyed. In early 2023, Putin's army, represented by the 40th and 155th Marine Brigades, attempted to attack Ugladar across the fields. These unsuccessful attacks by the Russian armed forces became the bloodiest in the history of this war. The 155th Marine Brigade of the Armed Forces, consisting of 3,000 people, practically ceased to exist by the end of February 2023. The enemy was losing 300 of its soldiers per day. After some time, the Kremlin tried to revive the brigade in order to throw it into battle again. The 40th Marine Brigade fared a little better, but not by much. War-spotting analysts say the losses amounted to about 1,000 units of military equipment. As a result of the battles for Volodar, the Russian Federation has already lost at least two of its brigades and 6% of its military equipment. Today, the occupiers from the 40th Brigade are in the Kherson region and the 155th Brigade is in the Kursk region. Whether the occupation of the ruins of Volodar justifies the repeated destruction of one or both of these brigades is a question that only the Kremlin and the surviving fighters of the ill-fated units can answer. Hurricane Helene made landfall Thursday in northwestern Florida as a Category 4 storm as forecasters warned of catastrophic flooding along the Gulf Coast. The National Hurricane Center in Miami said Helene roared ashore around 11.10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time near the Perry, Florida, in the Big Bend area of the state's Gulf Coast. It had maximum sustained winds of 140 miles per hour. Officials have forecast storm surges of up to 20 feet and warned they could be particularly catastrophic and unsurvivable in Florida's Apalachee Bay. Hurricane warnings and flash flood warnings extended far beyond the coast up into northern Georgia and western North Carolina. The storm knocked out power to over 1 million homes and businesses in Florida and over 50,000 in Georgia as it approached and came ashore, according to the tracking site poweroutage.us. Authorities in Georgia reported two people killed in a possible tornado in South Georgia as the storm approached, and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis said one person died while driving on Interstate 4 when a sign fell onto their car. Well, good evening. We're here at the State Emergency Operations Center providing an update on Hurricane Helene. It is currently making landfall in Taylor County uh, in the Big Bend section of Florida, Deco Beach. Uh, it is a Category 4 storm with maximum sustained winds of 140 miles per hour. It is moving north northeast, northeast at 24 mile per hour. Hurricane force winds are extending up to 60 miles from the center of the storm. And tropical storm force winds are extending 300 miles from the center of the storm. We have had a report of a fatality on the roadway, uh, car driving um, on I-4 near Ybor City in Tampa uh, was uh, hit when a sign fell uh, onto, onto the highway. So that just shows you that it's very dangerous conditions out there. Uh, you need to be right now uh, just hunkering down. Now is not the time to be going out. Not only are we seeing it hit landfall here in northern Florida, 
uh, you're still seeing a uh, surge in water rising in, in parts of Florida far south from the Big Bend area. So you look at Southwest Florida, you look at the Tampa Bay area, uh, you're seeing really significant amounts of surge. Hurricane Helene is, as the governor mentioned, is currently making landfall in the Big Bend area of Florida. Uh, please shelter in place, as the governor has said. Stay indoors. Uh, again, I like his analogy of treat this like a tornado right now. Again, uh, those individuals along Deckel Beach, um, maybe even as uh, as close as Steenhatchee, you're probably seeing very, very clear skies right now. That's because you're in the eye of the hurricane. If you can hear us and you have power, please do not go outside. That eye wall is going to close on the backside momentarily, probably within the next 15 to 30 minutes um, as it continues to make landfall. So please stay indoors.